Hey everyone, this is Coach Cody from the Athlete Academy Performance and Fitness, and today I wanted to talk to you about Achilles tendonitis. Now, Achilles tendonitis is a very common injury that occurs in pickleball players due to the nature of the sport. There's a lot of quick cutting and change in direction when you're chasing balls, and that over time can cause our fibers to be rearranged a little bit, and which can create weakness inside the Achilles. Now, for reference, the Achilles is going to be in the back of the heel, and it's going to connect your calf muscles to your heel bone. And what I want to do today is give you all a few of the stretches that we give our pickleball athletes prior to practice and prior to play. And in addition, a few exercises that you can do at home or at the gym within your regular gym routine to prepare you for the sport. Now it's important to note there's two muscles within your calf. Most people think of it as just one big muscle. You have your gastrocnemius and your soleus. So a few stretches that we utilize with our pickleball athletes, if we want to stretch the gastroc, we're going to go straight leg. So right here, everybody's seen this one before, straight leg, leaning forward, pushing the hips forward, squeezing the glutes, feeling that nice big stretch in the back of your calf. You're going to hold this for about 30 to 60 seconds. Um, 45 is kind of a sweet spot. You're going to hold that. That's going to strengthen, that, that's going to, sorry, that's going to stretch your gastroc. You should be doing this before pickleball play, um, before practices, etc. Now to get the soleus, remember we got to bend the knee. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bend the knee and still press forward to get that stretch right back in here. You'll feel that one a little bit more directly related to the Achilles, but this is how you're going to stretch that muscle. A lot of people when they go out there to play pickleball, they're at the fence, you know, they're doing their calf stretches they're like this, and, and they're only ever stretching the gastroc. But it's important to note there's two muscles down there that we got to stretch in order to prepare us to play. Now to strengthen those muscles, uh, same thing, straight leg for the gastroc. We can go calf raises. So, and I'm just holding on to a bar. You can hold on to anything. You can do it without weight if you want, really, or without support, I mean. Where you're just going to do a calf raise. You're going to go up, and you're going to control back down. Up, and down. And you can make this more challenging. You can find something that's elevated, which is why you're going to go up a little bit higher. And then you can go down, actually take your heel lower than what the ground would be, and you'll feel a nice stretch there as well. Go right back up and down into that and get that stretch. You can do single leg. That makes it a little bit harder. So depending on your age and your training experience, we progress our program appropriate to you and your level and what you're able to do. Now for the soleus, what I love to do is I actually like to do heel, uh, floating heel variations. A floating heel variation is where we get into a lunge position. And again, you can go supported or unsupported. I'm going to show you supported. That's going to be the, you know, if you're a new person that hasn't trained in a while, that's what we're going to start you off on. So you're going to get into this lunge position. And this front foot here, I'm just going to pick my heel up ever so slightly. Maybe I could fit like a, a, a folder underneath of it or a piece of paper. And I'm just going to hold that. And you see me up here shaking. You know, this is hard no matter what level you're at. So we're here shaking. We're going to hold this one. You know, we could take the heel up a little bit higher as well, make it a little bit harder. We can do things like, you know, same thing here, ball a foot onto the rack, get down a little deeper if you want, drive that heel up. And there's a lot of different options you can do. Um, it's important to start at your fitness level and your experience and don't just jump into it. So there you go. Those are a stretch for the gastroc and a stretch for the soleus in addition to one strength movement per each muscle as well. I recommend you stretch the muscles prior to practice, prior to play, and then you strengthen in your at-home routine because strengthening your body is what's going to prepare you to play. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My name is Coach Cody from the Athlete Academy Performance and Fitness. Talk to you soon.